Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Filipinos only marry for green cards. How many times have I heard that argument? Um, you'd have to be looking at the real crap of society to come up with that one. Um, the fact is, most people want a better life. That's very different from green card. Um, the reason I say that is because predominantly, if you say to women that, hey, um, I'm not interested in you coming to the US, UK, whatever, I'm gonna live in the Philippines, the majority of women will still be with you. So how would that make any sense? Um, but on top of that, I will say there is problems with taking women out of the Philippines for a lot of people because there's a a lot of peer pressure from family um, there's a lot of bad Filipinos overseas that like to manipulate things it, it, it's, it's not that they're generally bad I think it's crab mentality more than anything else I don't think they go out their way to do it on purpose but some probably do but the the fact is people do like to poke their nose in other people's business um, that's why you've got to be careful who your partner mixes with overseas um, because some of these people are very very negative uh, especially if they're from Filipino Filipino relationships e.g. it's Filipinos that work in the hospitals or something in the UK because they, they like to stir the pot a little bit um, because they don't see you and your wife is the same because your wife's married to a foreigner so it's very easy for her to get to the UK etc no you don't have to understand it but it's the way people think um, it's all to do with mixed mixed race marriages and all that stuff nonsense as I call it um, don't get dragged into it but make your person the person you're with aware of it um, are there many women looking for uh, green cards and passports etc I would say yes I would also say that the amount of domestic violence that goes on to Filipino women from foreign husbands is excessively high um, something nobody wants to talk about isn't it but the reality is a lot of the guys are bad guys whether you like it or not um, that's a real statistic I predominantly find that there is probably more bad guys than there is bad women um, I find most of the women are looking for commitment they're looking for a lifelong partner they're looking for somebody that will take care of them they're looking for somebody they can spend the rest of their lives with um, you will get the odd ones that are gold diggers you will get the odd ones that are uneducated and heavily manipulated by their families etc to extort as much as possible but I can spot them a mile off um, what normally blinds people is that beautiful smile that they see when they first meet this person and they don't listen to other people saying she's bad <laughs> um, so who's the person to blame oh yeah it's not that woman it's you you knew she was bad news you just didn't listen to anybody that was telling you um, hey we all fall in those situations at some point one of my old ex-girlfriends I remember I've been with her for a few years and I split up and I was in my local bar with my my friends and stuff and then everyone starts coming forward and talk, talking, about, talking about her because once we separated they were like thank god for that you know she's just bad news blah 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 but they didn't want to tell me the whole time I was with her because that was my girlfriend so they, they didn't want to come in the way of that friendship but I'll be honest with you in the Philippines I'll say it to your face and it's not because I am um, of going against your friendship but simply 
I know how many people make some really bad mistakes. <laughs> so if I do tell you that that person's trouble, um, be aware of it. But also be aware, if you're looking for lifelong commitment, take a bit of time. Um, the amount of people that get in relationships with uneducated young girls, um, not women, young girls. Now bear in mind, the maturity level of women in the Philippines is a lot lower than in the West. I mean, although I think it's been reversed quite quickly at the moment with all the crap media. Um, but you'll find like a 25 year old woman's got the attitude of a teenager, tantrum throwing, all that sort of stuff. Um, so as such, with a teenager, they do stuff that they don't really fully understand when they're doing it. It's later that they uh, regret it. And that's why you have to be more of the adult if you're in those types of relationships, because at the end of the day, they may regret it, but it may not be at that moment. Um, personally, that's why I say don't date anybody under 25. Um, personally, I wouldn't date anybody under 30. Because I see past the big smile and everything else. I see personality, education, um, a loving person, the the foundations of a marriage, relationship, etc. A lot of guys just don't. So this is why people go, oh, they're just doing it for a green card. It's easy to get out, isn't it? Blame everything on somebody else. Um, personally, I would say take responsibility for your own actions. Do a risk analysis um, because there's good and bad everywhere. And people that make blanket statements that all Filipinos just want green cards and stuff. I would say you've had a bad relationship and hmm, who's responsible for that one? Well, there's two parties and it's very likely both in some way or another. I know myself, I've been in a bad relationship with uh, somebody in the UK many moons ago, not my ex, uh, before my ex that I had my daughter with but it's only looking back I realized how much that woman was just a nightmare because um, when you're together you're wrapped up in the emotions and stuff like that but do I blame her me I put it down to experience I put it back down to the fact why was I so stupid being with somebody that's such so crazy <laughs> um, that's my responsibility you know I don't say, oh, she's crazy, blah, 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 but I'm still with her. If I'm still with her, it's my fault. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm not, because I got rid of her. But that's what I'm saying. You've got to take responsibility. Whether you like it or not, you've got to go, okay, notch up that as experience, move on. Because if you sit there blaming everybody for everything, you're not going to progress in life. You're going to have quite a miserable one, actually. Um... And yeah, there's bad women out there, but I would say there's a lot more bad guys um, that often physically harm their partners as well, which is completely unacceptable for me. All right, thanks for watching.